Happy Friday, everyone. Okay, today I will be sharing another trade idea with you guys. Okay, let's dive in to the trade idea. Okay, so this trade idea is for the Euro New Zealand dollar pair. Okay, the lady isn't tapering. Now, yesterday, the European Central Bank, okay, has announced their decision, monetary policy decision for this month. Okay, so um, interest rates remains unchanged as widely expected. Okay, um, the size of the quantitative easing remains unchanged. Okay, so um, what's being changed? Okay, so the central bank, okay, actually decide to slow down assets purchase. Okay, for the Pandemic Emergency Purchase Program. Okay, so um, during the first, well, at um, I think yeah, at seven nineteen forty five GMT plus eight yesterday. Okay, when the rate statement was released, um, the first paragraph it was noted that um, the central bank has actually slowed down its purchase for the PPP. Okay, the the pandemic uh, the pandemic emergency purchase program. So um. For the first 45 minutes upon release of the statement, the market was actually trying to, you know, trying to understand if this is considered the tapering. Okay. Why 45 minutes? Because um, 45 minutes from the release of the statement, okay, Christine Lagarde um, started her talk, okay, at a press conference, at the ECB's press conference. Now, so during the press conference, 45 minutes later, Christine Lagarde actually mentioned that um, the action taken by the central bank is not considered a tapering. Okay, it is merely a recalibration of um, quantitative easing. Okay, so that decision, okay, as you can see, as you can see over here, okay, quote, that decision is to calibrate the pace of our purchases in order to deliver on our goal of favorable financing conditions. Now, um, yeah, once she actually clarified that the central bank's action is not a tapering, but a recalibration, euro immediately weakened across the board, okay, against all the other major currencies, okay? So, um, nonetheless, there's still a bit of, um, I would say, uncertain, uncertainty, but it's more like a, confu a slight confusion, okay, um, in a sense that, the market is not sure how much of an impact is this recalibration, okay, the way the ECB puts it, um, has an impact, okay, how, how big of an impact does this recalibration has on the quantitative easing and its tapering, okay, its potential tapering. So, I mean, you know, this month, September, the central bank slowed down assets purchase, but does it mean that you know, next month or the month after next, you know, the next um, policy meeting, um, the central bank is can may um, you know increase the pace again or further reduce the pace again, right? So it, this whole thing is it's not I would say it's it, it falls within the you know the gray the gray region whereby it's obviously there's a slowdown. Okay, obviously the central bank is going to purchase. Um, less um, bonds and other financial instruments, right? But is this considered a tapering? No, according to the central bank, right? So, you know, with this, whenever there's this whole um, uncertainty going on, um, chances are it leads to the weakening of the currency, you know, that it represents, right? So, in this case, euro, okay? Um, if we were to actually compare the ECB's monetary policy um, progress at the moment with the Reserve Bank of New Zealand's uh, monetary policy progress, obviously we have a clear winner, all right? Um, RBNZ, okay, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand is definitely the winner. Why is that the case? Remember, they actually um, put a halt, a complete halt to the um, quantitative easing program, right? The LSAP, Large Scale Asset Purchase Program, um, back in... I think it was last, I think it was July. Yeah, it was back in July. 
And then in August, during their meeting, um, they were actually planning to hike interest rates by 0.5%. But then because, you know, unfortunately, um, New, Zealand's uh, New Zealand's Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, announced a nationwide lockdown, okay, so that actually sort of like, you know, delayed the central bank's in uh, intention to um, announce a hike in interest rate, right? So this month, okay, um, September, they are likely going to announce the hike in interest rates. So, you know, we have a clear winner in, when it comes to um, the progression towards policy, monetary policy normalization, okay, the RBNZ. So, because of that, you know, I actually spotted an opportunity for Euro Kiwi, okay, a sell trade, right? So, let me show you the chart. So, as you can see, this is the um, daily frame, daily time frame for Euro Kiwi, okay? So um, yesterday, you know, upon release of the ECB's monetary policy decision, there was actually a, I would say, you know, an attempt made by Euro Kiwi to try to break below the 1.66 handle. This um, blue line over here, as you can see, the this shadow over here, you know, it sort of like tested, but it failed to break below. You know, in the end, it actually recouped its losses and went back up, okay? So right now, as you can see, um, today, this candle over here, Euro Kiwi is once again attempting to um, break below the 1.66 handle, okay? So personally, I feel that um, there is a good chance that Euro Kiwi will actually break below this level, okay? Um, given the reason that I've mentioned earlier, um, monetary policy decisions, progress towards um, normal policy normalization, okay? So um, we'll see how it goes, all right? So in a, in a scenario whereby the Euro Kiwi were to break below the 1.66 handle, okay? I'll be looking to sell, okay? I actually have a sell stop order set in at this level, 1.655, okay? So um, if the trade were to trigger, it is likely that my stop loss will be placed around here which is around like 170 pips from my entry, okay? And um, my potential take profit will be 220 pips. So um, that is like close to a one point, one is to 1.4 kind of risk reward, okay? So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, okay? Um, Traders Club members out there, if this trade were to get triggered, then you know I will inform you guys um, of the entry level, the stop loss, and the TP level um, in the club. All right. Um, with that, I've come to the end of my sharing. Okay. Um, for you guys out there, if you have not checked out my um, coverage on the post um, ECB monetary policy meeting that went down yesterday, um, I will leave a link at the description section so you guys can check it out. Okay. And then you know you guys can decide if you know you guys want to take up this trade idea, okay? So with that, um, I will see you guys on Monday, okay, during the currency call. Thank you, goodbye, have a good weekend.